We're here in the retail meat cutting shop at Nate with instructor Mark Trick. And today we want to chat a bit about food safety. Obviously E. e. coli is in the news right now. Can you explain what E. coli is and how it might possibly get into beef products? Absolutely. E. coli is an intestinal bacteria that is found naturally. We even have some in our own intestines, but it's found mostly in cattle. And sometimes through proper evisceration and improper sanitation procedures, it will contaminate some of the products that we get in. And typically it's a ground beef product. The, the meat in question in Edmonton seems to all be coming from the same supplier. Is that who we purchase meat from here at Nate? No, it's not. Unfortunately, they have traced it back to a supplier here in Edmonton. We don't deal with that supplier. They make further processed items, which is something that we don't use here. We bring in the whole carcasses to ensure the integrity of the meat, and it also enables us to teach the students how to break it down and make those further processed items. And we have much better control over the sanitation that way. What types of things are you teaching our students about proper sanitation? Uh, we have a wonderful OH&S committee and they actually sit there and go through all of our sanitation procedures. And so we have a three-step procedure just for cleaning a table. So we'll scrape it down, we'll wash it, we'll rinse it, and we'll sanitize it. So, and we use a, a food-based sanitizer so that it's left on all night. It kills any of the bacteria that are there and we do it again in the morning just before we start. Would you say that the meat products here at Nate are safe? I would say our meat products are comparable to anything you can get out there, if not better. We have the time to spend on it. We're not profit driven and profit oriented. We're quality and learning. So we want to teach everybody that's going out into industry what the proper steps are. We're inspected by the same inspector that inspects all the other foods facilities and we have yet to have an issue. Mark, E. coli is often associated with ground beef. How do we make ground beef here at Nate? Well, ground beef is made out of a variety of different cuts or trimmings, and we have a little sample plate here. These are some of the trimmings that we do, and typically the trimmings, they are, because they're small pieces and we grind them up, sometimes even the smallest piece can contaminate a large batch. So again, through careful inspection, we make sure that there is no bacteria on them, we look at them. If there's anything that is doubtful for us, we will just discard it. And as a safeguard, um for anybody cooking ground beef products, what temperature should we be cooking them to? Ideally, you want an internal temperature, so the thickest portion of your meat, you want it at 165. So if anybody has any questions at all about ground beef, beef, or any other meat products, you're welcome to come down to the retail meat cutting program here at Nate, at the back of the Common Market, and chat with Mark or any of the other instructors Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Great. Fantastic. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Ruth. Take care.